Coming to the stage, we got none other than the best linebacker in the business. You feel me? Bobby Wagner. Let me get a round of applause for him. Greg Bell, you have a question for Bobby? Uh, sure. What changed tonight? What was different? It hasn't been there in the last three, four, five. Or how did it go the whole season? Um, I think the energy was there. I think the focus was there. The execution was there. Uh, you know, I think obviously we understood uh, this game was was big, and um, you know the way that they you know won the last game. Uh, we didn't want them to do it on a home field, especially we just renamed to something else. So uh, we didn't want them to, to win. So I just felt everybody was locked in and we executed. You think your mixes of blitzes might have confused? And there were a couple of times they did wide receiver screens, but you dropped off and you were out there waiting on it. And a couple of times you brought extra blitzers when they weren't ready. Did that mix, did you see that mix affecting them? Yeah, definitely. Definitely felt like, um, you know, it was causing a little bit of confusion. I definitely felt like, you know, after the first game, we learned a lot and understood, um, you know, what they were trying to do. And, you know, just watching uh, the last few games, what teams were trying to do when they saw us blitzing. And so a lot of the teams were checking out and doing, um, you know, jailbreak screens and things like that. So a lot of it is just intellect and learning from other games. Thank you. Joe Fan. Bobby, during some of your guys' struggles at the beginning of the year, throughout the season, quarterbacks have just been really comfortable in the pocket. Uh, how, given his athleticism, he's a hard guy to make uncomfortable. But how were you guys able to to make him uncomfortable while not losing contain and limiting his rushing yards? Um, you know, I think we executed the blitzes. We executed the calls. I think, uh, you know, the big thing was everybody had to stay in their gap. You know, nobody can kind of pick and choose, you know, what gap they were going to be in. They had to own their gap because, you know, he was a guy that was going to find it. And we didn't want to give him an opportunity to get out and break outside, find those gaps. And so... Um, I think we just played really sound defense. Everybody did their job. Uh, we executed the plays that the coaches were calling and uh, really felt like we just played fast. AJ McCord. Bobby, I know last game out when Kyler Murray was just all too comfortable in the pocket, that was something that you took very personally. How did you convey that to the defense as one of the leaders to make sure that everyone was locked in on a short week? Um, yeah, I think last game, you know, you watched him. Um, I, I believe we had one or zero uh, hits on him. And a guy like that sitting back there having all the time in the world with his ability to extend the play and escape uh, was going to make it really, really hard for our, you know, the coverage. And so, you know, it was just reminding the guys we had to get to this guy. We had to make him uncomfortable. That was the only way we were going to, you know, have a chance to win this game is to get in his face, make him move around and, um, you know, throw the ball on the run versus just sitting back and, you know, having time to read all his looks. And so I think the, the D-line did a great job of getting to him and uh, definitely felt like he felt us. And Carlos Dunlap, at that two-minute warning, he was bopping around, looked like he was just stoked to be out there. What kind of energy was he bringing, especially towards the end of the game? Uh, he was bringing a lot of energy. He was, um, you know, imagine that, that that there were fans were there. And so it was uh, funny to see. Uh, you know, I think it's going to be great whenever we, uh, you know, have fans. So guys like him and Jamal can really feel like what this atmosphere is like. But, uh, you know, he's been done a, done a great job. His energy is contagious. And uh, you saw it. Michael Sean. Hey, Bobby, how much of the turnaround for the defense has been just guys taking pride in their job? I think a lot of it is pride. A lot of it is pride. You, um, Go, you know, can you, you hear me? Yeah. You uh, asked about the defense and our pride. Yeah, um, go ahead, go ahead. But yeah, I think a lot of it was pride. I think, um, you know, when you're giving up the yards that we've, we've been giving up and the plays and things of that nature, at the end of the day, um, from a player standpoint, it comes down to pride. And, and, you know, do you have it and do you have heart? And, um, you know, I think we, we showed that. and. You know, I would like to say it's a step in the right direction, uh, but, you know, we need to be consistent with it. So um, it, it's good to do it one time, and, and we have to continue to do it. Larry Stone. Yeah, along those lines, Bobby, can a game like this have a carryover effect now that you've, you guys have seen what, what, what you can do when you kind of put it all together? Can you carry that forward? 
Yeah, definitely. I definitely feel like, um, you know, it's a, a confidence boost for everybody, but especially the, the, the new guys that just got here, the younger guys that haven't been a part of uh, some of the games that we've had in the past and, you know, haven't had their own moments. And so I think it's, it's a, a really good confidence builder for to be in that position, game on the line. Uh, we have to get a stop. We get the stop. Um, you know, I definitely feel like that, that builds confidence with your defense. Let's go back to Curtis Crabtree. Yeah, Bobby, to be able to keep Kyler hemmed in on the edges, not get out and beat you in the running game, and to be able to provide the pass pressure that you did, you might lose one or the other against an athlete like that, but to do it together, how big of a step was that for you guys tonight? Yeah, it was really big, because I think it was a, a team effort. You know, everybody was locked in and understand, you know, the last game we let, we let him just sit back there, and when he didn't sit back there, he kind of escaped and kind of got around. And so, um, you know, with a guy like that, you got to take something away. You can't give him everything. He's, he's already uh, good. When you give him everything, it, it, it becomes even uh, better. So we had to take something away. Definitely felt like everybody was locked in and, uh, you know, on their jobs, um, executing their assignments. And uh, we got to him a few times. Uh, we rushed him a few times, uh, got some sacks on him. And so, again, I definitely felt like he, he felt us more than last game. Last one for Bobby, Jackie Montgomery. Hey Bobby, Arizona they had the best run defense or the best run attack coming into this game. How are you able to limit them and take that out of their their attack? I think it's just um, you know understanding what they were going to do, and, and for the older guys like myself, uh, KJ and Diggs, it's kind of just calling those things out and um, you know letting everybody know what plays coming. And you know we saw the plays that they got us uh, the first go around, and so I think they ran some of the similar things, and so. Um, it was just kind of going downhill and not, you know, playing with your heels, but but attacking them, bringing the fight to them, and playing on their side of the ball, which I feel like we did. And then you touched on Carlos's energy, but what about his performance as a whole tonight, and just how he's impacted this defense? It's been great. You know, he had uh, I think a sack earlier, then a sack to to win the game. And you know, the, his big thing when he got here was he wanted to to get after the the quarterback, and that's exactly what he's doing. Um, you know, it's, it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch his energy. Um, it's fun to watch him try to communicate with the crowd that's not there. And so uh, it, it, it's really cool. I'm glad to have him on our team. Thanks. Thank you, Bobby. Appreciate it. Is DK up or no? Who's up next? Oh, okay. Y'all take it easy.